How reliable are self-testing kits? Well, they're very popular and so easily available. But can you rely on them to make decisions about your health? Well, in this video, I test one particular self-testing kit for vaginal discharges using three different types of abnormal vaginal, vaginal discharges to see whether they can identify that there is a problem and recommend that you go and see your doctor. So come along and see what I found. So we have different types of vaginal discharges here. One here that's green and a little bit frothy. One that's sort of gray, yellowy color here and quite smell. And um, one that looks like somebody might be on their period. And then this looks like cream, cheesy kind of texture. So we're gonna test these different types of discharges and see how these pH rapid test devices measure up because they're supposed to be a home alternative for when you have a type of vaginal discharge and you're not sure whether it's normal or whether there's a problem. I mean, clearly, just looking at some of these types of discharges, they do look like they're not normal. Um, and usually you would go to see your doctor to get yourself checked out. But the advantage is sometimes it may not be very obvious, so it may not be clear green. Um, some people might not be able to pick up as this, the smell. Um, and then they might have different types of symptoms as well. So this is supposed to be a useful tool for testing your discharge. And if it does show some abnormality using the pH colorimetric card that comes with the kit, then it suggests that there might be an infection and you're supposed to go and see your doctor or just follow the instructions, which usually recommend that you go and see your doctor. So we're going to test these. And I'm using this particular one for no reason at all, apart from it's one of the many that you have on the internet. So this is a Safe Care Biotech One Step Rapid Test. So it comes like this. We're going to open this together. Um, it's supposed to come as an applicator. And what you're supposed to do when you open this, actually I don't need the scissors. So you can open this very simply okay, and ease the applicator out so it comes just like this. Okay. so. Held like this, you're supposed to introduce this part into the vagina and moisten that little panel there with whatever discharges within the vagina. So that's what we're going to do now with our different discharges here. I'm going to start with the first one and let's see how that goes. So we want to get it nice and moist. According to the instructions, you're supposed to press it gently against the vagina wall for about 10 seconds, I think it says. So, ooh, we've got a rapid chain. Now, that was quite quick. I wasn't expecting it to be quite quick. And this is seven. So let's keep this here. Okay, let's open the second one, see what that does. Again, this is how it comes. You're supposed to introduce this into the vagina so you're holding on to this round bit and then introduce this into the vagina and then press that make sure that panel is pressed against the vaginal wall for about 10 seconds so let's see with this one here and see what we find so do that for about 10 seconds and it's supposed to be rapid ah we've got another blue okay so when we finish this i'll tell you what the different colors are supposed to indicate oh i think i get one that goes green let's see the last okay so exactly the same process yeah. <laughs> taking too much of the sample you press too hard okay let's just mop that away a little bit and we've got another blue another blue okay so let's look at the leaflet okay so with the leaflet as you can see it tells you how to interpret the results okay so it says vaginal ph levels over 4.4 are outside of the normal healthy range the color of the indicator is darker and becomes a brown green blue shade okay so guys when we started it we started with a nice sort of green light green colors what we started with and then for all my different samples here it's all changed into a blue hue so let's look at the test result let's read that together so each of my samples has gone blue which is expected because they are actually all abnormal so that first one that one over there that's thrush so let's see what it says 
a white vaginal discharge often like cottage cheese which doesn't usually smell symptoms you might have irritation and irritate sorry itching and irritation around the vagina a soreness and stinging during sex or when you pee so most likely thrush okay so remember you're looking at the um, symptoms and the type of discharge so that's most likely thrush and the advice is speak to your pharmacist or physician for treatment options okay the next one i've got this really bright green one nearly bright green one so it's an abnormal vaginal discharge it might be thick thin or frothy and yellow green in color producing more discharge than normal which may also have an unpleasant fishy smell yeah if you guys it is a bit whiffy um and then you might have soreness swelling and itching around the vagina pain or discomfort when passing urine or during sex and it also went blue which means this is at uh, above the normal ph level the likely diagnosis is trichomoniasis and that's a serious sexually transmitted infection so you're supposed to consult your doctor for advice on treatment options so that's fairly accurate for that one as well um, and let's look at this last one so this last one um, it's kind of like a thin gray sort of gray kind of discharge a little bit sticky but this one is bacterial vaginosis so let's see what it says thin and watery grayish white vaginal discharge with a foul smelling fishy vaginal odor um, and that's BV speak to your pharmacist or physician for treatment options so that also changed color so what I like about this kit it is very it is rapid so it didn't even need 10 seconds actually but i presume that's because i had you know sort of all the discharge in such a large amount <laughs> it might not be that way when you're actually pushing this into the vagina but it is rapid um, and it gave the appropriate color change but it's just useful i think as a tool for guiding um, somebody who maybe they haven't got quick access to a doctor and they've got a vaginal discharge that they want to um they want to be clear about it is marketed for regular use by pregnant women um, for this one if you go through the details it says stay stay healthy through pregnancy with the bv ph rapid test device and it says stay healthy through pregnancy and it says bacterial vaginosis is diagnosed in 15 to 20 percent of all pregnant women approximately and it says with the help of regular self-testing of the vaginal ph level pregnant women can decrease the risk of infection i think that if you haven't got immediate access to a doctor and you have a discharge that you're worried about you could try this as the very first step clearly it is packaged safely it's packaged quite securely in a sterile fashion so that's good and just be careful when introducing this into the vagina it's not supposed to go in beyond this um part of the of the applicator so just gently insert it a little bit into the vagina what are the downs downsides um you know sometimes somebody might not do it properly you may not get enough of the discharge on this on the kit to be able to test properly so it does have some downsides but if you do get enough of the discharge and it's being used to test whether the discharge is normal or abnormal i think that's pretty reasonable the key thing is if it's a normal discharge the kit shouldn't change color pretty much or it should just remain light green but when it changes to a clear blue like all the ones i've got here did that suggests that something abnormal is going on okay well i hope you enjoyed that little demonstration yes you can get some benefits some value from using some of these self-testing kits to an extent please don't rely on them alone they might be a useful indicator that something isn't right and so you should go and seek medical advice thank you so much for watching let me know which other vaginal healthcare products you'd like me to analyze and i'll see you again soon